three, two, one. We're gonna roll. Right pedal and pull. <laughs> It's a nice high gusting windy day today so we're going to be working on pedal turns, quick stops, and auto rotation in case of an engine failure in a hover. Today is also the first day I got to manage our communications at a towered airport. I think I can speak for most new pilots when I say that we're probably more worried about messing up or sounding dumb on the radio than just about anything else. I didn't realize it at the time but I was definitely trying to talk way too fast. After listening to myself on the recording, I've made a mental note to try and slow it down in the future. Activity reporting via four aircraft advice, ground control direction of flight. Mad bonds on initial contact, you have information, India. Yeah, India. Short time tower, helicopter 126 Victor Alpha at Trinity with India. Helicopter 126 Victor Alpha, George Chantair. Yes, sir, we'd like to transition over to the west side for hover practice if able. Six Victor Alpha. Captain six, six Victor Alpha, hover taxi to Alpha. And hold there on Alpha, I'll get you across the runway when I can. Taxi to Alpha, hold it Alpha, 6 Victor Alpha. Left on one more on the mic. Monitor ground, set that Alpha. Watch that tail. Tower helicopter 126 Victor Alpha and Alpha, ready for transition to the west side. Clear runway 18, remain clear of all runways and taxiways. Clear to call him again. Victor Alpha, air taxi to the west side, crossing runway 18. Once you clear of runway 18, remain clear of all runways and taxiways. We'll go, 6 for Alpha. Yeah, he stepped on us, and then somebody else stepped Better on him. Four Charlie Papa, runway 18, so clear, some, touch some, and go, fly left height, traffic. Get over these guys. Fly left traffic, clear for runway 18, 3 4 Charlie Papa. Set her down over here in the uh, the green right, base in the windsock. Terra left downwind landing runway one eight altimeter three zero one zero. All right, so let's let's pick her up. Give me a left three sixty all the way back into right. the wind. All right, right tail clear. Looking for traffic, that's all we're doing. Nice. All right, set her down. All right, so let's pick it up, 180, and we're gonna just do a uh, little hover taxi with the tailwind all the way back to the other side, and we'll work. We'll do some uh, normal profile takeoffs, air taxi, quick stop. Okay. There we go. Hover, hover checks, lights, RPM, gauges of green, fuels good, on the go. Don't have to worry about ETL. All right, bring us up. Hold us about there. And quick stop. Ah, 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 hold it. All right, level, a little bit of touch level her off. Bring her to the ground. There you go. Right to the ground. Nice. All right, one more. I just need to go a little bit more after. Yeah, just it, it's it's. Gentle and progressive, a little more, a little more, a little more, so you kind of start off feeling it out. It's the same thing in a in a flare for the auto. You just start off slow, bring it a little more, a little more, and you know, the, the end result is stopping the helicopter, right? Sure. So, okay. All right, let's do it. Bring her up a little bit, keep her level, cruising right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and quick stop. Uh, lower, a little bit of a balloon there, see that? Yeah. All right, level her off, there you go. Right to the ground. So when you have that wind, 
it's really uh, that relative wind is giving you lots of angle of attack. Mike, number two, phone there you go. Nice. Eight, so when you come aft like that with that wind, it's really going to just wants to fly. So you almost have to almost lead with collective, but just you know, not not crazy slamming it down, but just you know, keeping it whatever it need to do to keep her level. All right. So with the hover auto, the thing with it is students have a tendency. I know I did for the longest time, is to compartmentalize, break all the movements down to where your your something lags or lacks each time. So uh, basically it's all happening at the same time. We're going to get into a nice stabilized two foot hover. We're going to reposition our hand. We're going to count down nice and slow. And the deal is, is we do it as as slow as we say it. So it's going to be three, two, one. We're going to roll throttle off. As we roll throttle off, to compensate for the uh, the loss of torque, we're going to right pedal it, and then because we're losing our tail rotor thrust, uh, it, it's going to drift a little bit to the left. So we have to add just a smidge, just a, a pressure of right cyclic to keep it from drifting, and then we wait, let it settle, and then we pull collective to cushion our landing. Okay, so that's the thing is it's like okay, there's all these movements, and what happens is. You, Inevitably, you forget or you you won't do one. So then you concentrate so much on that, everything else goes to you know goes sideways. So uh, you'll pull too early. You won't do a right cyclic. You'll too much or not enough right pedal. You know just all those things, all the mistakes that everybody makes. So what I'm going to do is I'll demo one. You stay with me really light, and uh, I'll show you how she works. I'm going to lock this car heat down so we have lots of uh, manifold pressure and a nice windy day like this. There, it'll settle really, should settle really smooth. All right, all right. I have controls. Yes, control. Stay light with me. I have controls. Nice and slow. We're gonna reposition our hand, so we're gonna roll off toward your your leg. Okay. So let's get in a stable hover. We're gonna count it down. Three, two, one. We're gonna roll and pull. Boom. Nice and smooth. All right, and it's all the, the the pull is all about the timing. Okay, you got to kind of you, you got to force yourself to wait that split second to, to pull, and don't pull too fast. You don't have to pull it all the way up to your armpit because if you pull too soon, then you'll lose all of your your energy that you've got stored in the rotor. And like I say, with this nice wind, you've got uh, a good angle. Your relative wind uh, gives you a nice angle of attack, so that uh, when you do pull up like that pitch in the blades gives you the, just that last little bit of lift to help settle it to the ground nice and smooth. All right, let's roll it up again. Yeah, rolling up. Cheers for Charlie Papa George and Terra Fly Left Traver. So we've got our nose in the wind, stabilized hover. We're going to reposition our hand, okay? And we're going to count them down nice and slow. We're going to roll throttle off, connect that roll to our right pedal to stop the yaw. A little bit of right cyclic to compensate for drift, weight, and pull. So, three, two, one, roll. Cool. Little, little bit, a little bit of yaw, kind of landed, left skid a little bit, but not bad. And th the nice thing about doing it slow, you got to think, is uh, if your engine's going to crap out, generally it's going to give you some kind of burp, 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 warning, you know, uh -huh. that it, it's dying. Whereas, uh, it's, you know, I, I've uh, been with different instructors and people that have taught by different people and they get the crack crack and throttle and then if you if you crack roll fast that you got to be on your your pedals really fast and then you get a lot of this stuff going on so just over stressing the, the aircraft and it's just it, it just doesn't make the experience for the student very good I hated hated auto or hover autos because we used to do them on the concrete right so Ooh. doing them on the concrete you know it, it's not a, not a big deal but if you get a bad one like that a clunker it's just unnerving and for a student learning it just makes you not want to do them right I would uh, my hands would get so sweaty I, I would have to wear my mechanics gloves so I could grip yeah. the throttle you know and then uh, and then you get different like different instructors that would just crack throttle on you so we've kind of come to the conclusion if we do them nice and slow in the sod in the grass it uh it just makes the whole experience that much better f for learning right two foot instead of three or five you know so you're not falling out of the sky five then oh waiting and you pull too soon and bam you hit hard and you know it's just all that so we just nice two foot stabilized hover do it like you say it three two one roll and pull right so if you and pull, there's that weight, just okay. that little bit of a weight for the for the pull, okay?
So, all right. And just that little bit of right cyclic, and the slower you do it like that, you don't lose. If you crack throttle that hard, you lose that tail rotor thrust, right? That translating uh -huh. tendency, you lose that a lot quicker. So you're going to get that that quick drift, right? So so then if you're not on this, then you get the the, the left drift. So if you do it slow, you don't lose the the uh, tendency, you know, the uh, the tail rotor thrust so fast, and it and it doesn't drift as hard. So you don't have to give it as much right cycle. All right, we got to stabilize hover. We're going to reposition our hand. Okay, we're going to count them down nice and slow. We're going to go three, two, one. We're going to roll. Right pedal and pull. <laughs> Anticipate that right yaw. As we were heading back to the ramp at the end of our flight, the wind had picked up and we now had a 90 degree crosswind as we crossed the runway. Between fighting the crosswind and the mechanical turbulence from the hangars, you can see me get into a bit of a pilot-induced oscillation and my instructor has to take the controls. By training in windy days like this, it really helps you learn to be on top of the pedals. It also makes you appreciate the days where wind is calm. This is so. Here, I got it. Yeah, yeah, you There we go. Once it starts getting out of out of hand like that. Oscillation. Yep. Due to the wind, today's flight was definitely a lot more challenging than usual, but difficult flying just brings me one step closer to becoming more confident in myself and the machine. I'm going to shoot for new content at least once a week, so make sure to check back in for the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.